I ruined my sister's marriage and I'm really struggling to live with myself because of it. My younger sister and her husband, brother-in-law, are like the greatest love story I've ever known until I ruined their marriage. And I don't know how to live with the guilt. My family has cut all contact with me and I can't even blame them for it. The guy who I was interested in also left me and now I see him happy in a new relationship but I can't help but blame myself. About a year ago, I was on a hen weekend for my best friend in the big city, that's where my brother-in-law has a small overnight rental for when he works in the city. We, him and I, decided to meet to exchange Christmas gifts because they were spending Christmas with his family and my sister was probably 30 weeks pregnant. They live a few hours away. He ran late for work so I was already bar hopping with the girls and when I texted him my location that was the last thing I remember. I remember there was substances and alcohol involved and I woke up in brother-in-law's bed in my undies. My brother-in-law was livid because I never taken substances and he thought I was stupid experimenting alone in a city I didn't exactly know. He found me outside, passed out in a mini dress when it was below zero degrees. I was covered in vomit as well so he took me home. He didn't want me to sleep in my dirty clothes and he tucked lots of pillows behind me so I didn't sleep on my back and maybe choke on my vomit. My brother-in-law lost one of his best friends growing up this way. He spent the night sitting in a chair next to the bed scared that I would fall on my back and pass away. He was really livid the next day and called me all sorts of immature, careless, stupid, ignorant, I could have been hurt, OD'd, assaulted. I agreed with everything he said because I was reckless, and I was so ashamed of it. He told me never to speak of this to anybody especially my sister who was the jealous type. I agreed against my better judgment. But he was so kind to me and probably saved me that night so I agreed. Besides him and me, one of the girls I traveled with figured it out when I disappeared from the club without my jacket and bag, she had them, and then later my brother-in-law asked her to drop by with fresh clothes and coat. She must be the one who spread what happened. A few months later my sister got the version that I spent the night with my brother-in-law, and that I needed a change of clothes. Us not telling her everything immediately when it happened only made it worse. They are separated now, processing the divorce. My sister is broken and my baby niece is going to grow up in a broken home where her parents fight over custody. My mother and the rest of the family have all cut contact with me. I wish that brother-in-law never found me passed out behind that club that night. I should have just passed away from an OD, choking or hypothermia. I'm just so very sorry. Update, I'm sorry that I deleted my account yesterday. I just felt overwhelmed by the people who contacted me to say that it was fake. I really freaked out and was very hurt. I don't know why my lack of ability to write makes my conundrum less serious. I don't get that this is not the whole story either. I spent four hours trying to make the text as short as possible. I thought I did a great job. I don't want to convince you to believe me because it doesn't matter either way but I have to say that I never seen a post be so attacked. Why so heartless? I will answer a few of the questions people asked and then I have a small update because I have been in contact with my brother-in-law several times today and I ended up sending him the post. 1. Where everyone lives, I live in the same town as the rest of the family, 5 hours away from the big city. My sister and her husband live 2 hours away from the big city in the opposite direction. This means we live 7 to 8 hours apart. 2. Why I was alone that night, I wasn't, my friends were inside the club. I went out for some reason and passed out. The club is on a busy street and everyone was drunk at that time. Nobody was paying any attention. My brother-in-law found me because he recognized me. 3. Why my brother-in-law didn't talk to his wife, my sister, immediately, I don't know. I was passed out. He said he knew her well. She would be suspicious anyway and probably try to drive in the snow and still think we were up to something. 4. Why I didn't go to a hospital, these substances are illegal here. My brother-in-law didn't want me to get into trouble and I think that he thought that I was just very drunk. I could lose my job if I got it on my record that I had used substances. 5. Was I roofied? No, unfortunately I remember that I was very drunk and it sounded exciting to take some stuff that one of my friends knew was being passed around. It was all me and my stupidity. 6. Why my brother-in-law didn't put a t-shirt on me or something, he had covered me up with a duvet while I was sleeping. When I woke up, he lent me his gym clothes. I have talked to my brother-in-law today. Someone here suggested a lie detector test. I really got very excited. Anyway when I talked to my brother-in-law he wasn't as excited. He told me that he would be brutally truthful with me now. He doesn't want to salvage his marriage. He said that these months has made him understand that my sister and him are wrong together. My sister was cheated on in her previous relationship and according to him, she was punishing him for what the other dude did to her throughout their relationship. He never said anything because he loved her and when it was good between them, it was great. That is the part we all got to see. The fairy tale kind of love. He was terrified when I spent the night in his place and wanted to do anything for her not to find out. What happened with me brought back his PTSD from his best friend's passing and when my sister found out he hoped that she would at least be understanding because she knew about his best friend. Her unsupportiveness when he needed her made him realize that he didn't love her anymore. I sent him the post all the same. He apologized, for some reason, for what my mom did, she beat me because she believed my sister. I called him again and asked him if I could at least do the poly to give sister proof that I was innocent. He said that I should do what I saw fit. He said that all he wanted now is to fight for his daughter because my sister is trying to block him from getting custody. 
He also said that he has been dating a girl for a few weeks now. So that's it. He is moving on. I texted my sister that I was willing to do a poly to prove that I was truthful. She didn't answer me. My mother did however. She told me to leave my sister alone or they would call the cops on me and get a restraining order. She also called me a junkie and she threatened to rat me out to my workplace. I don't know if the guilt will ever leave me. There is no coming back from this and everybody seemed to be moving on. Maybe it's time for me to move on too.